which are probably the most important policy in my view for driving a green economy transition is public investment. It's the way we invest our resources. And right now, public investment is geared in many ways that are going in the wrong direction. One of the interesting things uh, that is related to climate change is our government set up a national fund with contributions from its own uh, revenue. So what we would like to see this replicated in other parts of the world as well. So maybe what can we also suggest in the EU is to, is to plan also community, not relying too much the subsidy of the government because we think that uh, time comes that the rapid uh, growth of the population also cannot accommodate the subsidy of the government. So I think that one of the most innovative policies that was recently created was the Green Grant Initiative. Poor families located at the conservation units, they receive now a monetary grant in order to conserve the forest. It's a form of payment for environmental services that we are now experimenting in order to disseminate and massify. Well, Costa Rica started with a very traditional tax exemption, then decided to move toward a combination of subsidies and other instruments, and finally realized and, and, and changed the law to transform it in, from subsidies into an, an environmental service payments. And this is the way it goes now, mainly local, but aiming to go global. I think urbanization holds the, the solution to most of the world's long-term problems whether they're economic, or social, demographic, or environmental. But one thing that, that, that could definitely change Panorama a little bit is if there were improvements in, in public transportation, mass transportation, allowing people to live further away and still reach their jobs. I work on the governance of solar geoengineering. Uh, in that context, uh, innovative policy uh, to, to deal with this technology, uh, to my mind, would take the form of early and sustained dialogue between the different stakeholders on this issue. Involving the communities in being able to do many of the things that they want has been very exemplary. We have been working on community-based adaptation to climate change. Communities not, are not waiting for experts to come and tell what climate change is. They're doing it. We need to live between planetary boundaries. We know that the Earth has systems that we must not transgress if we want to keep in a stable and beneficial state. But we also need to make sure that every human being has the resources they need to meet their human rights and lead a dignified life.